Well, the day has come. We're going to do this oil pressure test on this i6 engine using GM's preferred way to do it with this wacky adapter. This is just a note for myself that I got to remind people at the very beginning of this thing to have a spare oil filter on hand before taking the old one off. Now this right here is why I needed to have another oil filter on hand before I started it. You just never know who the fuck would put a filter on this tight. I, mean, I don't know who the last person was to change the oil in this truck, but god damn. I'm going to go ahead and get the oil filter off and get this thing uh, bolted up on there. Who the fuck put this filter on here? I think it's going to be easier to thread the hose on first and then attach this to the engine. This is called, I'm just going to lay the camera here, hope for the best, it's not super critical, this step is shown completely, so we've got the J-tool hooked up, just got to finish this connection up top. I right, hope you guys can see that, I moved the gauge so we can see it while we're in the truck, that way we can look at what the cluster is doing and what the Tech 2 is showing. Can't remember off the top of my head where this was. There we go, monitored and displayed oil pressure. So let's go ahead and fire the truck up. Seventy-five. Magic forty or close to it. The monitored is forty-four. Displayed is 44, but our actual is way over 70. And this is using the tool that GM recommends you use. So actually, we weren't that far off by using our little homemade joint for about what $11 or whatever it was. So, once again, reading about 40, reading about 70, this motherfucker's lying. What if I unhooked that oil pressure switch? And what if I just drained all the oil out of the engine? and started it up. Would it still tell me I had 40 pounds of pressure? We're gonna fucking find out. No, oh, no, 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 dick. The only thing I don't know is if this shit's gonna spray everywhere. I'm gonna have to come up with something. I don't know if this is gonna work. Like I said, I don't know if this is just gonna spray oil out everywhere. So hopefully this pig mat is all the protection that I need, hopefully. And I'm also going to have to unplug the oil pressure switch. Since it will have zero oil pressure, I want to unplug it and see if we still have that 40. Alright, so oil pressure switch unplugged. I'm still going to keep my oil pressure tester hooked up. Let's fire this thing up. Now seriously, do not try this shit at home. I'm only going to let this thing run for about 10 seconds. Alright, everything's queued up. That's my change engine oil light. Fuck. Well, 
I didn't get to show this, but. Damn it. I'm gonna start it up real quick. Uh, it looks like the pig mat did okay. Well, I'm gonna get all this crap unhooked. Plug the oil pressure switch back in. New oil filter. Seven quarts of mobile one. One for the treble, two for the bass. She's got nut all over her face. Well, that might not have been the right way to do that song, but. All right. Chuck's not gonna bug me to change this stupid oil anymore. All right, so what I wanna do next, I wanna try to make that oil pressure gauge change. And if you remember what it said in the service information, it said something about engine speed having something to do with it. And that's what I'm going to go here for. I'm going to go here for manipulating the engine speed to see if we get a change on the gauge itself. Well, maybe if we make the cam phaser move, we can get our engine speed to decrease. Let's see if we can get that up on here. I think you guys can see this both at the same time. Oh, you can't do it with the fucking it idle. Damn it. I wonder if we uh, turn the fuel pump off. Well, it did move a little bit. What I'm going to attempt to do this time is try to disable one of the injectors, see if we can get that engine speed to drop and then see if it matches what's going up here on the oil pressure gauge. Engine speed has gone down a little bit. But not enough to really give us some data. Fuck. Well this sucks. I really thought I could do this just from the scan tool. Just try to slow the engine speed down enough that we can see a correlation here on the oil pressure gauge, which we know is just a made up number. So I'm going to have to put some thought into this and to come up with an alternative way to slow this engine down. I guess without using the scan tool. So I can't do it from the cool climate of an air conditioned vehicle. I guess I actually have to be outside under the hood. What's up motherfuckers? We got this Kia Optima today. Just going out on a road test. This Optima needed some brake work. The insides of the back rotors were rusted to oblivion. The uh, insides of the back rotors where the parking brake shoes sit were rusted to oblivion. Someone had attempted to put rear pads on to remedy the situation. Didn't fix it. So two new rotors and some scuffy scuff later. This motherfucker smooth. The beard is no more. If y'all remember my little 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 look, it's gone. Why is the beard gone? Nobody's probably asking, but I'm gonna tell you why anyway. You know, when we uh, wait a minute, spring forward, fall back. When we fall back the clocks for the end of daylight savings time or the beginning of daylight saving time, I don't remember which one it is, but uh, that shit's depressing because. Five o'clock comes, you get off of work, and it's dark, which means you ain't doing shit Monday through Friday at night. And it's just kind of depressing because there's just so much potential, I feel, being wasted. Um, just coming home and sitting on my ass all night. It's lame. And I don't know. Animals go into hibernation during the winter months, and I kind of go into hibernation too by not shaving. But yesterday we rolled the clocks forward. Yeah, we rolled the clocks forward. 
the beard is off, the phone's ringing, the driveway's packed, so it's all good in the hood. And for the past couple weeks, I've been letting off a lot of steam at work, uh, making cars feel pain, and uh, today this Kia made me feel pain. Well, actually, I did it to myself. So I'm going to wait for this motherfucker to get a nice blood blister underneath the nail and then drill it out. But I want my son to watch. You might be thinking, what the fuck, man? What kind of sadistic Saw movie motherfucker are you? I don't know. I try to teach him that this is a dangerous profession and you can get hurt. And really, it's cool to do as a hobby, but don't make it a career. Especially since real motherfuckers like me are getting replaced with cheap fucking laborers cheap parts changers so I always show them my boo-boos and tell them stories about work I like the time I got my arm stuck um, forget what I was doing I was trying to disconnect something on top of a gas tank I used the pry bar to push something out of the way got my arm up in there my pry bar fell out of the tool cart and I was stuck in the car so yeah that's what's been going on so you might see more of these road tests pop up with uh, the beard is back. And that's just because these things might not be posted in a sequential order. So there you have it. Thank you, Daylight Saving Time.